From the city that doesn't sleep, doesn't stop drinking, and doesn't stop for pedestrians, live from New York's Get Alive Stadium, it's Threats Football. I predict a high body count and a lot of shattered limbs today. Yeah, my last game here, my brain got battered, spilled all over, Manhattan. To live in this town, you gotta be tough, 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 tough. Hey, what I'm Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing because MFL Game Day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they got to keep it simple. A little cough syrup, maybe smoke a little untidy pod pregame so they can keep their heads in the game. I mean, literally. You don't want to get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the refs early and often. No mercy. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hey. It's always good for an easy kill. <laughs> Second down and ten. Hot one, hot two. And he just got run over by a freight train. Now, now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. And it's first and ten. And it's first and ten. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Oh, man. Talk about running into a buzzsaw, Bricks. Okay. He just ran into a buzzsaw.
And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? In a fight between King Kong and Godzilla, the player on Roy Grade would win. <laughs> Boom, and he's dead! Oh, bingo! Bingo, bingo! I got bingo, Grim! Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called... It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. hit that was and that's how you make it oh uh, come on that was a cheap shot <laughs> that's why i love this guy and so are the fans second down and seven and then a first down from a great catch was it a catch though Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. Second down in a line. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. A brutal head-on collision. Not only does he drop the ball, but someone's going to be taking a long nap after that hit. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. For the day is being played by my kid's sister, and she doesn't have legs. They just let that one drop and played safe, and the defense says we'll take it. And it's first and ten. And the defense gets the quarterback for a sack.
Second down and ten. Third down and, well, good luck. First and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. They've called a zap attack. The and then he jars the ball loose, and it's a fumble. That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. First and ten. See that boo, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> for a couple of yards. Third down and long. Defense gives up five yards on that pass play. This is going to be a long kick. Let's see if he can make it. Straight through the uprights. It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. Oh, nice hit. Nice deflection. Second down and ten. He is put. It's about a three-yard pickup. Up third down and seven. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And the defense spiked the offensive water with strawberry fields. And now they can taste sound but can't remember what the concept of time is. Second down and long. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant. And the offense has only two 
running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to eat those last two runners for this action. And it's first and ten. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, uh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. Second down in a very lot. Didn't see it. At least the mortician did. He's coming out on the field now. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Oh, and he intercepts the ball. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like the coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. Gladness, gladness. Ah, oh, shit. Who did we get out of it? Third down and ten. The defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And it's first and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. Was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. And like a monkey, he could go all the way. They're getting on him. Hey, come on. Bam! Man. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, good night to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of it. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. The nastiest dirty trick in the NFL is Chainsaw Massacre, and the offense just called it. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays.
And they'll line up for the punt here. And he put all of his foot into that one. And, he's got, and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Deflected the ball. Second down and ten. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Ben? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! Third down and ten. Gets another pick. Man, rough day. Hey, Grim, what if interceptions counted as touchdowns? Holy mother of blown up mutants right in his face. Get up on mm, site. Actually, actually might be an improvement. That guy was ugly. If I run up, I can get up. That's a deal in a flight. Yo, we can shoot him. We can shoot him. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All we need is 77 to bite it. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. You don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. was good for 10 yards. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Grim, can I kill him? And he just hit like bricks and bowels. He is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And it's first and 10. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily.
Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. Boom! And that'll bring up second and one. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> when you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. And he was steering a pick six but dropped the interception. And it's why he's on defense, schmuck. Second down and ten. First and ten. And the defense calls a strawberry field's dirty trick. Now this takes me back to those crazy days of my youth, Bricks. <laughs> oh, the defender just knocked the ball loose. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. Second down in a mile. Holy exploding baby diapers, Batman. That just knocked the... With 
That's a vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. Third down and forever. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Take the ball, asshole. Oh, boy, they're going for it. This could get uglier than the baby resulting from an orcish family reunion. And the quarterback throws another pick. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe up. Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Uh, do we have a rule book? It's propping up your chair so you can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. Thank God he's still got his... It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. <laughs> the offense is lining up to go for it on fourth down, and the defense is looking for a stop or a death. He Perfect pass and a score! System, but I see your point, Bricks. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. First and ten. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. Second down and a lot. And the quarterback on leash, he's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. Yep. Oh, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. And it's first and ten. And like a monkey trying to... That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. The ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Still by jerks. Yo, guys, suck. First down and one.
Second down and five. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kick off into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! Oh, a vicious hit! And the ref will have to administer last rites. Funeral services to be held Monday at the Church of Holy Crap. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Man, what a hit that was. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. He was not going to drop that one. He A man from prison just came out of the field. It's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is. <laughs> the offense is down to their final receiver. They'll be playing shorthanded for the rest of the game. Uh, and if they lose him, will they have to forfeit? Oh, talk about pressure. I'm going to have to take the value before this one ends. Hey, y'all been out on me. First down and one. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two, hot two. Nail him right on the numbers for a touchdown. No matter how many years in the league, I gotta tell you, this don't get any less scary. Oh. The offense is down to their last two linemen. Once they're gone, it's game over. Yeah, who cares? Linemen suck. They don't even deliver any fantasy points. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. The MFL, it's Zaptastic. First and ten. Oh, the punishing hit. The quarterback goes down.
Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And like bricks his balls, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. First down. And it's first and ten. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Hey, remember that skeleton lap dance you had at that totally bone strip club last year, Graham? <laughs> yeah, she said for 20 bucks, I'll take it all off. I didn't know she met her head. That was uh, kind of weird. Nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined? It's just like the 4th of July, only with blood and guts. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, the, the funeral expenses, that is. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. First down. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. First down and three. Catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's all those poetic things. What the high cool? Yeah, man, she's gonna get him now. Oh man! You know this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. The New York Threads decimate the opposition and win by forfeit. Wow, look at him straight throwing his body parts off the field. It was a decisive win. The home crowd is cheering and throwing up at the same time. Too much excitement and booze will do that to you. And the players are celebrating as they search for missing appendages. They left it all on the field today, or most of it anyway. Boy, oh, you're not kidding. The blood and guts sucking Sam Bowdy is coming out now. Hey, if anyone needs a liver transplant, there's a nice looking one down on the 40 yard line. And let's hear what the MVP has to say. Oh, I can't wait to hear what the most valuable prickhead has to say. Blah, 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 you suck. You take my fantasy game last week, you douchebag. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...